All right, what's going on, everyone? Well, we are back here at Sentry Transmission. Uh, we are in the uh, office. According to the door, Mark right there is uh, looking up how to hook up these fans. So yeah, what are we doing here today? Well, let me show you. So we got my car out there with the big ass fan trying to cool it down and all those things right there. So today, we are going to go ahead and replace the factory fans with these high flow uh, fans. I believe they are 1100 CFM each. Uh, I'm not sure what the factory ones are, but I'm pretty sure they're not equal up to those. So it's also an aluminum radiator shroud, so that should work off to the better benefit. There is Mark looking at the wiring diagram, making sure he connects everything right. So yeah, once he figures that out, we're gonna head back out there, drain the coolant, and go from there. Okay, we got the car in the air, bumpers off, splitters off, so now we are gonna go ahead and drain the radiator of all of its coolant, so flush it out, and then uh, take off the header, and then take off the factory fans. All the coolant's out. Mark is uh, disconnecting some of the lines for the coolant. And then we are going to pull this off real quick. All right. And then we are just going to pull this entire assembly out as a whole to make life easier. And then we're also going to flush the radiator while it's out because we found a little bit of trash in there. We're hoping it's just bad head gasket from the first time. Now we need to undo the bottom radiator hose. And so let's go ahead and do that and I will be right back. We just pulled the old one out and sure enough, it was stuck open. Legitimately, it's latched. It locked itself in there, so we probably didn't ever have to worry about it getting stuck shut, but hey, you never know. I'd rather have it stick open than stick shut. But you never know when it might accidentally just close and stay shut. Now, if you look at this newer one, though. Yeah. We're going to use that. Look at this. A much higher flow. So this should do a lot better temperature-wise. We got the car back in the air. Mark's about to put the thermostat back in. You want that thing facing up. You want it up, that's what allows excess air to come through for your bleed. So make sure that's facing up towards the engine bay. We are underneath the car right now. And then that's it. As simple as it was to undo, just the two tens back in there and you are done. Here is the fan and radiator shroud that I had ordered. All this does is what it, it creates a little vacuum area. So pretty much, you know, it closes off and instead of just pulling the heat from where it would just be mounted to the radiator, it acts as a room and pulls it from all around and pulls it out. So Mark is over there grabbing some stuff and then we are gonna go ahead and mount this to my radiator. I got it mounted. It comes with the supplied hardware, really nice. Uh, very nice fit. So yeah, now that I got the shroud on, the fans, Mark is working on the wiring and trying to figure out how to hook it up. So let's let him get to work. So Mark has figured out what to do. Kinda. Kinda. He's gonna add these quick disconnects so it makes it easier for us to uh, plug it in when the time comes. So he's just go ahead and uh, stripping these wires that are on the fan. What is that you're putting in? It's a weather, weather pack gasket. Um, that pretty much just protects the exposed wire. I mean, moisture, moisture or water, elements, oil elements, dirt, dust, grit, grime, anything that OxyClean can't tackle. Okay, so that's that. And we're gonna put in the connectors. Female connectors. Come on. 
I love these things, but I hate these things all at the same time. So, let's say we're gonna put blue on. side in and then lock there you go now we are not going to plug these two together if that's what you're wondering what we did here is we made them opposite so that way when we go and plug it in if we ever need to and and somebody else for any other reasons working on my car they don't get them crossed so it's dummy proof one goes to one specific connector and one goes to the other not that it really matters we're running separate relays but I never know who's gonna work on my car for whatever reason, but now it's dummy proof. All right, so let's go ahead and put this into the car. Along with the new shroud, I also got a set of Perrin. Uh, is it open? Yeah, it is, okay. I got a set of Perrin license, license plate frames. <laughs> no. Uh, let's see here, I got the black radiator hoses, because those red just wasn't going with anything underneath the frame of this car. So, plus they were a little spongy, but uh, <laughs> yeah, so let's go ahead and unwrap these and uh, put these new ones on. So the new hoses are on. I also went ahead and bought this Cosworth radiator cap. It is a 1.5 bar. My old one was a uh, 1.1. So hopefully this high pressure one holds some of the water back and doesn't uh, fucking let it go too soon before my engine starts to cool. So. Now, let's go ahead and uh, fill this thing up with some radiator fluid. We got the radiator in, fans in, the hoses in, thermostat in, new uh, radiator cap. So, we filled it up. Now I'm gonna start it up and then uh, see what happens. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me. The fan's super loud, the exhaust is super loud. All right. The fans are blowing really nice. So, Make sure there's no leaks. All the air bubbles getting out. So yeah, let me back up so I'm not yelling anymore. So that solves that problem. So now what we're gonna do is in the next video, we're gonna take the header off, wrap it and coat it. But until the next time guys, later.